Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today I'll be reviewing The Corpse of Anna Fritz. No, this isn't a mockbuster version of The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Directed by Hector Hernandez Vicens, starring Alba Ribas, Christian Valencia, Albert Carbo, and Bernat Somal. This is a film about Anna Fritz, a famous, beautiful actress who's just passed away. Two friends decide to join up with their third friend who happens to work in the morgue where Anna Fritz's body is awaiting her autopsy. So the three of them sneak into the morgue to see her body. In order for me to properly review this film, I have to talk about some unavoidable spoilers. Uh, something major happens at the beginning that sets up the rest of the film, so it's really important for me to talk about. So if you're interested in the film, I will let you know right out the gate that it is a pretty decent movie. It's not the best, but it is enjoyable. So if you want to go and watch that before you watch the review, now's the time to leave. Firstly, this movie is a one location movie. The bulk of it takes place in the morgue, in the room that Anna Fritz's body is kept. Basically, Anna Fritz would be something like an Angelina Jolie. So these guys are kind of almost starstruck. Two of them haven't seen a dead body before, so they're kind of nervous at first. They touch her, and then they begin to grope her, and eventually it leads to neck Necrophilia. These scenes would likely be a little bit more disturbing to some than others, but it's crucial to the flow of the movie, and that's why I'm explaining it, because when the second guy decides to have sex with the dead body, her head shifts off the table and her eyes open, and we find out she's not dead and that she's actually just been paralyzed to an extent. So she knows exactly what's happening and she's just forced there to be raped while she's still alive and she can't fight back, she can't do anything and she knows that the danger that she's in. And that's why this movie is pretty crazy because it's just such a fucked up situation that becomes more fucked up when Anna Fritz is actually alive. And so the concept is great because she's in this situation where she needs to try and get out. These guys find out that she's alive and they're in a morgue where other people are still working. So the whole movie, the three guys are trying to figure out what they need to do with Anna Fritz. Anna Fritz is trying to get out. So there's a lot going on and for a one location movie, the pacing was excellent. Not a lot happens, but you definitely feel the tension between all of our characters. Alba Ribas, who played Anna, did an excellent job. Just showing her emotions without speaking. You can see the fear in her eyes like the entire movie and it was almost frightening and you felt for her. I also enjoyed Christian Valencia who played Ivan. He's the guy who works in the morgue and he was basically peer pressured into not only letting his friends into his workplace to see Anna, but he was almost peer pressured into having sex with her, even though he admits that he had already done it before. The way that they build things and they set up the characters, you almost don't care that he was like a necrophiliac because you start to gravitate towards like more of his like better characteristics. And I know that's super weird to say. It's just like, oh yeah, ignore that he bangs dead bodies. Just to completely ignore that. He's a good guy at heart. It sounds weird to say, but at points and even up until the end of the film, you're gonna feel that way. And speaking about the end of the film without getting into any spoilers, I think that people will enjoy their investment of time for the rest of the movie uh, for a satisfying ending. When it came to the acting in this movie, I wasn't a huge fan. Now, I've talked about this before where it's very difficult for me to understand when I'm reading subtitles if somebody's a good or a bad actor, but our main antagonist, Pao, he didn't seem that real to me. He was being very aggressive and just being an asshole, and I can't see how Ivan would have ever hung out with somebody like that. So, while I do like the characters individually almost, and like the circumstances that they're in, I don't think that these guys would have ever hung out before. Like, it just didn't seem like real friendships or relationships. But again, that could be like a translation thing where I couldn't read the characters properly. And while I like some of the tense situations in the film, I do believe that there are a couple that just seemed a little more unrealistic as well, where there were times where other characters in the film could have been alerted and maybe stopped a lot of this. The fact that it is a morgue and they kind of mention time a lot. They're like, oh, there's a guy coming in at 12. And then it comes to 12 and the guy like just comes down, turns on a light, and then turns the light off. So they set up some situations where you think that a lot more is gonna happen uh, once they got to that time and it kind of fizzles out. And there are a few different situations like that where you think something bigger is gonna happen and it doesn't. Like I said, the pacing in general is pretty solid, 
but there are a few exceptions. At the end of the day, I'm glad that I watched this. Initially, I passed it by because I thought it was just gonna be a knockoff of Autopsy of Jane Doe. I wish the marketing wasn't like this. The poster looks almost the same as Jane Doe, and even one of the posters suggests that Anna Fritz is alive, which is a big spoiler for the film. But I was pretty surprised. This was a small, probably low budget movie that I was completely engaged in. I really enjoyed the setup and the concept, and Alba Ribas did a great job as Anna Fritz. But there are some downfalls in the way that some of the situations are presented, and I don't think there were enough consequences for some of the decisions that were made. So I'm gonna give this three garbage shots out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't and you do want to check it out, there are links in the description where you can find it. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything, bloodbath and beyond.